Welcome back to Our World with Black Enterprise. Being an engineer has its challenges, but for one man, knocking down a dozen obstacles is as easy as switching lanes. Ron Hicklin is our slice of life. He isn't your average bowler, nor your average engineer, but Ronald Hicklin is successfully living his dream, doing both. It's the career he planned as a teenager. For my senior high school uh, project, one of the things we had to do was say, what are you going to do with your life when you graduate? And I said, you know what? I want to design bowling balls. While every engineer wants to build a better mousetrap, Hickland at 34 is building a better bowling ball. It's kind of a unique story because I've been chasing this my entire life, basically. Um, there's very few people that do what I do. Um, there's actually only about four in the industry that design bowling balls. At Evanite International, where 60% of all bowling balls are made, Hickland's designs are making an impact. You know, the beautiful thing about bowling is, is that it's very, it, it looks very simple, but at the same token, it's very technical. The outside of the ball is round, and everybody knows that, you know, is you put, you got three holes in it and you throw it down the lane. What most people don't know is the inside is actually very technical. Um, there's an inside piece called a core. That core comes in different shapes, different sizes, different densities, and it continues to evolve as we continue to move forward with technology. I'm very impressed with Ron Hicklin. I think he's a, a wonderful engineer. He's got that really thoughtfulness. He's got that good creativity. He's always thinking of the positives, always thinking of the how this solution can help the corporation. In 2010, more than 71 million people bowled at least once that year with only a little more than two million bowling competitively. Well, there's two parts to bowling. There's really the sport side and then more of the recreational side. The sport side of bowling is where you're seeing a lot of decline. The recreational side of bowling is actually seeing kind of a boom. Hicklin's father introduced him to bowling. Today, father and son bowl together all the time. I'm really proud of him, you know, because at 13, he said he wanted to make bowling balls. And I remember back then, I said, oh, no, we're not going to have you have an engineering degree to make bowling balls. And he kept with his dream all the way through, and, you know, it's his passion. Hickland is proof that a career in science, technology, engineering, and math can be cool. Science and technology are, are, are fun in general. The people that are the richest in this country get it from science and technology more times than not. Um, not from necessarily playing sports or those kind of other things. Those are also high profile and good, but I would tell you that, you know, it's, it's a lot of fun to sit in my chair and be able to help design bowling balls that 60% of the world uses, knowing that you're having a positive impact, not only, are you, not only on your community, but also uh, in the world in general. We'll be right back. That wraps it up for this special edition of Our World with Black Enterprise, on location at the 17th Annual Black Enterprise Entrepreneurs Conference. Be sure to visit us on the web at blackenterprise.com slash ourworld. You can fan us on Facebook or follow me on Twitter at Mark Lamont Hill. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.